Oh my gosh, someone made bacon. This has been my new favorite playlist, especially to listen to in the morning or when I'm just wanting some good vibes. Oat milk lattes in the mountains on Spotify. It's incredible. <laughs> got his collar on did anyone else's dog like when they were first a puppy be like a big biter because of teething because that is what we are experiencing these days well finley took my spot so <laughs> good morning from me and finley or we've been calling him jaws lately because of the biting Oh, you're my good boy. Hey, you guys. So this is a quick little interruption into the video. I want to start doing more giveaways in 2021. More so things that are more personal or things that I show in my videos a lot or if people are in need of money right now, whatever it may be, I want to do more giveaways. I want to give back to you guys. I did that all last month of Vlogmas, donating to a different organization each day. But this year, I kind of want to do something just like giving back to you guys, my Dan fam, because I literally love you guys so much because you guys have supported me for so long, literally coming on like 11 years on YouTube. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. And I love you guys so much. So I posted on my Instagram story. I did like a little question box. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me because that's how you can get involved with stuff like this it's just at danielle carolyn what do you guys want me to give away and i have a list of a ton of things i'm gonna be doing in the next you know few months or whatever but there was an overwhelmingly large amount of people saying i should give away the dyson air wrap and i i couldn't agree more truly we all know it's like my favorite thing ever it has changed my life not actually that's dramatic but it has changed the hair game for real all i use now is the dyson air wrap there's so many different attachments i use the one that just brushes so it just like literally blow dries your hair but also like styles it at the same time while using less heats using like air instead there's like a lot of science behind it but um and then i also love the other one that has a curler so you can look like you just got a blowout with some nice big curls I love it. I've seriously been using it every day since I got it. And I know it's a little bit more on the expensive side. So I wanted to give away one to you guys. And I'm so excited. But remember, this is first of many. So don't worry. There's going to be others. I have a ton of ideas that you guys gave me. I was thinking about giving away a box of like my favorite skincare items. Maybe one of my personal favorite luxury handbags that I'll buy for you guys. I know not everyone has the luxury of purchasing for themselves. And I really do want to give back because I love you guys so much. So all you got to do, I want to know. This might be kind of basic, but... But I really do want to know and I want to get inspired. What's your number one goal for this year? Something you want to accomplish and maybe how you're going to do it perhaps. Kind of like, okay, I want to love myself more. And how are you going to do that? Are you going to do positive affirmations every morning? Whatever it may be, I want to hear about it. Let's inspire each other. I'm going to be picking a winner from the, from the comments of this video. Comment down below your number one goal for this year and how you're going to achieve it or how you're going to try to. And just put your Instagram at in there or your email if you prefer. And that's how I'll alert you if you want. And I'll also be announcing it in my video. And this will end next um, Sunday, January 17th at 11 59 p.m so that'll be like all going into the 18th like on next monday so you can comment as many times as you want go 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 so excited dyson air up i can't wait for one of you to experience it yay okay enjoy this. guys welcome back to my channel happy new year this is my first video vlog of the new year and i could not be more excited i'm just so optimistic i'm so excited like i'm just I'm just so excited. Today is Monday and I'm gonna be doing a weekly vlog, a week in my life. I really just love doing week in my life. So Vlogmas was fun, vlogging every day until Christmas was so much fun, but I do love week in my life and I know you guys do too. So we're back at it. I'm so excited for all the content I'm going to create for you guys this year. If you're new, I'm a senior at the University of Georgia. I'm home right now in Tampa, Florida, headed back to school in a little bit. Um, to start my last semester literally ever in college, which is so crazy, but this is my last week at home, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, this year is about to be just so crazy in so many amazing ways. Graduating, maybe moving at the end of this year. I mean, who knows? There's just so much to happen, so I can't wait to take you guys along on another year on my channel. I've been doing YouTube since... Well, before 2010, but this channel was created in 2010, so it's been over 10 years, which is crazy. So yeah, welcome back. 
Welcome back to the channel. Anyways, I spent the morning reading. I've been reading Pretty Things by Janelle Brown, I believe, and it's so good. Um, <laughs> He does not need coffee. I planned my morning with my doing well daily journal. But yeah, I'm just in this lounge set that I'm obsessed with. It's from Nordstrom BP. It's very, very comfortable. It's a little chilly here in Florida. I'm gonna go for a little bike ride because it's so beautiful. I love going on bike rides when I'm home. I'm recording Gals on the Go podcast with Brooke at 12. Um, we're gonna do an episode all about our goals for the new year and everything like that, which I'm really excited about. That's kind of the layout for the day. I'm excited to you guys along this week and Subscribe if you are new here to be alerted every time I post a video. Let's go see you guys for breakfast. Come on. Come on. What's happening? The Christmas decorations are coming down today. It's a very, very sad day. But mom is just starting the new year off right making some chocolate chip pancakes. She used to make these for us all the time. Do you have Nutella? Oh, yup. Guys, chocolate chip pancakes and Nutella. Oh my gosh. And charge. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you, mom. Alrighty, here's my little um, bike ride, OOTD. I just got this bucket hat from State of Mind. Check out their Instagram, at State of Mind. We had her as a guest on Gals on the Go. It is just like, this is like Finley in a hat, I swear. And then I'm just wearing this tank top from, I believe, Aritzia. This necklace is from at It's Especially Lucky on Instagram. Biker shorts, or not biker shorts, what are these called? Sweat shorts are from Guess. And then my shoes are Adidas. And then I'm bringing along sunglasses. A lot of people ask me where I get this case from. It's from The Daily Edited. And then um, I'm bringing a jacket also from the state of mind because it's a little chilly. And then my phone so I can play music and vibe out. Decided to go for it again and do nail art when I got my nails done a couple days ago. It's an SNS base, just like a tan color. And then I did white gel over top. I'm really happy with how it turned out. These are like my real nails. I get nervous to do nail art, but I was feeling it. Listening to that oat milk lattes in the mountains playlist and just sitting here expressing some gratitude. Alright, post bike ride kombucha, let's get after it. This is so sad. What are you boys doing? Playing with Finn? Finn, you wanna come record Gals on the Go with me? All right, you guys, we are in the office now. Brooke and I are about to record in about five minutes. So I am just setting up. I've got my kombucha, I need, a, I need a sip. Finley's gonna hopefully be a good boy and sit with me while we do this. That bike ride was invigorating. Like it's a little cold out, but I love it. Like I've done this since I was so young going for cold bike rides. And oh my God, listening to that playlist, you guys like put me in the best mood. And it was a workout. I put the gears up high. Got the microphone, got the headphones. Yes, we do. Cutie, hello. hello. <laughs> this week, we are obviously doing a New Year's themed episode. We're gonna be just talking about our goals for the new year, kind of talk about y'all's goals for the new year, our word of the year. So many things. Got me some Chipotle. I'm a happy girl. I literally rushed in from my car because I could tell the sun was setting. So I'm going to eat my Chipotle and watch the sunset. Oh, it truly does not get any better than this. Oh, so thankful. Green juice time. Just have my Chipotle. Yum, yum. You guys excited for The Bachelor? Woo! dad literally talks the whole entire time and we have to like pause it and you know all right <laughs> oh my goodness just nice watching the bachelor it was so good i'm so excited for this season it is now 10 19 i'm gonna finally get my pjs on i've literally just been wearing this all day and we're gonna go to bed. Actually, I'm gonna read. I'm, I was gonna show you guys my book, but it's over there. I'm reading Pretty Things by Janelle Brown, and I it's so good. So I'm gonna read, get Finley and his... Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. We have been up for a little bit. He's being so cute and snuggly. Sleeping in my legs. It's so cute. Snuggle season. Good morning. Got a little gardener over here. Oh yeah, he needs breakfast, so do I. I put on this jacket because I'm dramatic. It's really not that cold out. I thought it was going to be. You want breakfast, Bubba? 
We put a little egg yolk in his breakfast. He loves it. The vet told us we should, so just so you guys know. You guys, he literally knows breakfast is coming. <laughs> just showered, felt amazing. I have a nice hot cup of coffee, burning lazy Sunday morning from Replica. I love this scent, and then I'm also burning my little balsam and cedar candle that Freddie got me for Christmas, because Christmas is still alive in my heart. Um, and yeah, leisurely morning right here. Uh, you come in my room for one minute and you spill coffee. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello you guys, we have Finley in the background and I am doing a little purse swap. This is gonna be today's purse for my errands I'm running. It's from um, the store called Modiste. It's actually my friend's store and it has the Cutest stuff, I've known her forever. She used to be, or she probably still is a photographer, but um, now she's like getting into the fashion world and she kills it. She curates the best stuff from like small businesses and less known designers. And this is the bag that I'm using today from, it's at official Medeast on Instagram. I'm just taking stuff from my purse and popping it in. So kind of a little what's in my purse, if you will. Wallet and my keys. I always have my wallet attached to my keys because I find that I always need both at the same time. I love these hand sanitizers. I got them from Nordstrom. They're like the size of like a little credit card, which is really nice. You can just, you know, do one of these and they fit really easily in all your bags. Bringing this Laneige lip balm. And then I'll pop in a pair of sunglasses. And that's it for that, right, Finn? You guys, I couldn't find Finley and I freaked out and then I found him right here sleeping. You guys, not to get emotional, but this is where Miley used to sleep. Oh my goodness, this is where Miley used to always come hang out. She loved to sleep on my pillows. Here I am. <laughs> he brings me and my family so much joy and I'm so thankful. But it is definitely, it's cute, you know, in a way that he you know, gravitated towards where Miley used to come as well. And <sighs> Anyways, mild um, little tear sesh there. Here is my outfit for the day. I turned the light off, but maybe I need to put the light back on for you guys to see. So I am headed over to this really cute coffee shop and I'm bringing my laptop and I'm hoping to sit outside somewhere. They, it's like a newer coffee shop and it is so, so cute. And I just like, really want to be outside right now. It's so beautiful. I just have some random computer stuff I have to do. I want to check and see if I've gotten off the wait list for the PE I have to take for um, at UGA because I I'm don't judge. I'm literally just trying to do walking because I don't want to have to do jogging three times a week. <laughs> and then after that, I'm stopping by the post office and I'm mailing off. I have a return and then I'm also sending a uh, doing all daily planner to my friend Audrey, Audrey Challenger on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. She's awesome and she really wanted one and I was like, I got you. So we're going to mail her a doing well daily planner as well. Here is the fit. So this top is from Aritzia. It's just this like white ribbed crop top necklace I wore yesterday. It's just the D initial from It's Especially Lucky on Instagram. My jeans are from the brand Pistola. They're definitely a little bit looser on me. I got them tailored too and like the crotch still seems a little loose, but I don't know. I kind of like the relaxed fit and I got them from Indigo Child in Athens and the bag you guys already know. And then I'm gonna pack my computer into this little bag I got from Furla, which that's like a little tote bag and gonna bring this into the coffee shop with me. I literally cannot with the cuteness. You're gonna have to stop it. Okay, so I'm back in my car now, and you guys, my day has been made. Like, it's just like the little things in life. My lips are so dry. So I walk into the coffee shop, and this girl immediately goes, oh my god, Danielle, hi. And she watched my videos, and she was like, I've been watching your videos since you wore bubble necklaces. And that was literally freshman year of high school. It's been so long. Shout out, Victoria. She was so sweet. And she literally goes, ice vanilla latte. And I was like, yeah. It was the sweetest thing and she like treated me to the coffee like it was I, I literally Victoria I love you you're so sweet she made my morning it was just like so sweet and she was like literally this is me you know giving you a coffee for the hours of entertainment you've given me from your videos and I was like oh my god that's so like it's just so sweet so now I want to like pay it forward that's what I wrote in my active kindness section on my doing well daily planner today I want to 
pay it forward by paying for someone else for something. I got a lot of work done, just like random emails, you know, the whole nine yards. I'm still number one on the wait list for walking, for the PE. Um, and I also was just like doing some graduation stuff. Like I have to apply to graduate and just, ugh all the things. Anyways, I am headed to the post office now to ship out um, a planner for Audrey and then I also have to do a return. Also totally just took self timer photos on like using the back of my car, but I'm kind of like impressed with how they turned out. So I mean, all right, all the errands are done. Headed back, gonna chill for a little bit, maybe eat some lunch. Finley has another vet appointment later today. It's a beautiful day. I also want to like go outside, maybe go for a bike ride. He doesn't, he's not really loving walks yet, but I'd love to take him for a walk. Maybe today's the day. <laughs> so I was driving home and then I saw my mom's car at the juice place <laughs> and she already got me a juice, but then we took ginger shots. Woo! Yes. And they gave, us free, yeah. they gave us a free ginger shot. I swear, like today's just a day. It's great, so sweet. Great day. Yay, Happy okay. New Year. Meet you home. Sounds like Freddy took Finley for a boat ride and now he's got to take the boat to the marina to get it fixed. Bringing him a juice and picking up Finley. <gasps> Finster! Oh my goodness, hello. Is that my juice? Yeah, it's for you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi, baby. My lunch for the day, we have some grilled chicken, sweet potato fries, and ketchup. Oh yeah. So I just got a package in the mail from Bronte's Boutique. I hope I'm saying that right. I've been DMing with her a lot. I love this. You don't need to be pretty like her. You can be pretty like you. I got this zebra cardigan. I am obsessed with it. It's perfect for like the southern winter because it's like kind of cold, especially in the mornings. I just think this is going to be so cute. Like it looks really cute with this outfit or like with biker shorts and a top like this or I don't know I'm so excited to style this it's just like a tan color her Instagram is at Bronte's boutique and oh, I'm so excited okay but this tank top also from Bronte's boutique so cute it's this ribbed tan one shoulder tank it's like stretchy materials too it's just actually oh my gosh this is oh my gosh I love this I'm like whispering because I don't want to wake him up but I feel like he doesn't really care but yeah so yay, go check her out. Headed to Finley's second vet appointment. He's getting some vaccinations today and just like another checkup. It's been two weeks. I'm literally wearing everything I just showed you guys. I switched into these jeans from a Goldie, same purse from Modiste. Yeah, follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't because I've been posting lots of outfit of the days. So crazy, the last time we took him to the vet, he was like so much smaller. Well, and now I mean, They're gonna be just, so proud of you, you're just growing. Huge. He's huge. You guys, we were just handing off Finley to the vet because you can't go in with them. This, let me just show you guys where this was. Hold on, hold on. I go to bring it to her and literally his phone and wallet were just sitting here like this. That means we drove this whole way to the vet with his, Freddie is so lucky. Oh my God. He was a good boy. They said he looks great. I feel like a true mom these days. <laughs> Now, don't and you my know cardigan. It, don't you know what it feels like? I, I do know. know what it feels like. I feel like a child is so much more work even, so just, you know, yeah. starting with the pop. All right, yeah, sleeping right at now. Dad's house tonight, and Finley came. He's having his first sleepover. He's growing up. He's like, stop it, I'm blushing. Wait, I want to see my soap dispenser in action. Does food get taken over? Yes. So, as you guys know, I got my dad... Oh, whoa, I'm gonna try it. Oh, heck yeah, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. This is what I got him for Christmas. Cooking dinner. My dad got this um, focaccia bread from Whole Foods and I just put butter and olive oil on it. It's not garlic bread, obviously, but you know, just to make it a little yummier, popping that in. He got me kombucha, so kind, and some oat milk for the morning for my coffee. Very sweet, very sweet. Oh my gosh, I am now in love with Whole Foods pre-made meals. They're like fresh, they just put them in a thing and you heat them up. So good. Freddie already ate dinner, so I'm gonna vibe out with some Frank Sinatra. Ooh, that looks good. Bocha and a wine glass, that's how we do it. My dad has all kinds of photos here and I literally, when I was younger, used to always wear a headband on my forehead. Like, I wouldn't actually wear it. It was a really weird thing. Like, same there. Actually, that's a little bit more headbandy. 
This was like one of my old business cards I made back when I didn't tell people my last name. Little Freddy, so cute. One of my school photos. The day Freddy was born, I had my bow in my hair. This is one of my homecomings. I loved that dress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is an old Christmas card. Hope you guys enjoyed that little journey down memory lane. We just watched, um, I showed my dad the show Imposters on Netflix. Ryan and I watched it like literally probably a year and a half ago and I love it and I already kind of forgot stuff about it. This is my room at my dad's house for those of you who don't know. It's actually so beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. I don't sleep here often because my dad just like comes to my mom's house a lot and we have the dog and everything but I do love it here so much. I've got my Kindle. I'm going to read more of Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. It's for Kenzie's um, book club podcast so I definitely need to finish that. Yeah, my dad's taking Finley out right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna go get the crate, bring him up, and he's gonna sleep right there. We have his crate right here, so I can look at him while I read. Good morning, you little poop. You woke me up a lot last night. <laughs> I'm making some coffee. I'm outside, they're in there watching sports, and I like to start my morning with music usually. Um, so I'm gonna do my doing a little daily for the day. All right, the big reveal. Today's is comfort, the enemy of progress. <laughs> Very true. You guys, it's so crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I woke up in a, in a not great mood because I woke up a couple times last night with Finley because he had to go to the bathroom and I mean I do that every night but for some reason I don't know I didn't get as much sleep as I normally do and I like came downstairs and my brother and my dad were watching you know sports and the news and everything and I don't usually do that when I first wake up I like to listen to music and have like a gentle star and it's so crazy the difference like I sat down and I was watching TV and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna be in any better of a mood I have a call later like bleh. so I just like took myself out here onto my dad's balcony and played the oat milk lattes in the mountains playlist I was talking about on Spotify did my doing well daily planner and like my mood is like 10 times better and the coffee hit obviously but it's just so crazy so Pro tip, if you find yourself being in bad moods in the morning, and it might be because you're sitting down and just watching TV or just like immediately, you know, going on social media and stuff. I don't know, I find listening to calming music when I first get up, and this is a personality trait. Like Brooke and I always talk about it. Like she prefers content over music and I probably prefer music over content, but like in the morning it just hits diff. I'm in this set from State of Mind. It's like this chocolate brown color. I really like it. And then we have a Gals of the Go kickoff call at 11 for the new year, which I'm really excited about. And we just uploaded a new episode, which I'm really excited about as well. So, yay! Yum, yum in the tum. There's something about sesame bagels that I just adore. All right, back at my mom's house now. About to do a call with um, Emma and Brooke. A kickoff call. You guys are balancing on my kombucha right now so yeah we're doing a little 2021 brainstorm call hello. there we go hello guys what's up all right you guys just changed a little bit put on these biker why do i keep calling them biker shorts sweat shorts from guests and this um long sleeve from zark it's like a little chilly out and some sandals because we're going to get a pedicure not only are we going to get a pedicure i'm going to get a pedicure with my brother and my dad a year ago today we actually did the same thing and my mom's boyfriend every year he gives us a gift card for me my dad and my brother good our nails done i know modern family we're all really close okay but anyways it was really funny last year and it's really nice i think it's just like a really fun thing to do and they don't really get pedicures unless i go with them and i really need one like i haven't gotten one in probably like two months a month and a half probably so yeah it's just be a little fun thing to do we made an appointment gonna go now and yeah okay here we go <laughs> just got pedicures i did this neutral color i'm happy with it freddie did no color i did no color how we all doing out there <laughs> how we all doing all right you guys just came back my mom made some chili which i am just thriving about it's so good had that for lunch then hung out with finley for a little bit and did some more emails and stuff i'm headed to a spin class really excited about it. I haven't worked out a lot recently and I'm just feeling like a good workout so I'm excited to go. I'm just wearing just like all black from Lululemon, the same sweatshirt from State of Mind, and then I'm wearing these 
sneakers from Adidas and I'm just gonna borrow shoes there because I didn't bring my spin shoes back with me. So yeah, let's go work out. Oh my gosh, you guys, that class was the kick in the butt that I needed. And then I come out and it's so crazy just like being off your phone for 45 minutes or whatever. There's a lot going on in the world right now and our country is so divided. So I'm just kind of like working through that right now because I just literally opened my phone and I had all these texts and I looked at the news and... <sighs> hey guys, so it's the next day and I've just been taking this time to kind of just think about everything and formulate my own thoughts and do research and read up on what's been going on. The events that happened yesterday at the Capitol were very saddening. They're upsetting, they made my stomach hurt. I'm sure a lot of you guys could agree. <sighs> Our country needs change. We need a change in leadership. There's a lot that we need and I just wanna say I'm sending a huge virtual, virtual hug to you guys. From what I understand, this is the nation's most damaging attack on the Capitol since the War of 1812. I'm gonna let that sink in. I didn't know that. I've been reading up on this and that is just insane, <laughs> to say the least. I know everyone's dealing with this differently right now, you know, whether it's going to social media or just taking some time off. I just felt that it made the most sense to kind of just end this vlog right now. <sighs> As it doesn't, it doesn't really feel right to show my outfits of the days or, you know, literally anything at this moment. So I just wanted to hop on and kind of talk to you guys how I've been feeling. I definitely am looking forward to some love and peace in this country. However, I don't think that we'll be able to get there until we as a country are able to truly address the issue of systemic racism and oppression that's present here in this country. It's definitely something that I've learned a lot this past year, as you guys know. It was something that, you know, having my own white privilege, I didn't even realize was such a big issue, when in reality, I think a lot of things are coming to surface right now in this country as to white supremacy and how messed up things are right now, for lack of a better word. And yeah, I've just been chilling here in my room, got the candles going, chilling with Finley, sleeping. We just gave him a bath, but I love you guys. Like I said, I'm sending a big virtual hug your way. And I am still doing that giveaway though, so if you guys do want to enter, make sure to comment down below. I still want to give back. And it's still going to be the Dyson Airwrap because I think it's just awesome, but yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Um, but I just hope that 2021, it's off to a rocky start, but I want to see some change and I know y'all do too. So I love you guys.